Okay, we are back. This is Tech Math 2. We're looking at sections 1.3 and 1.4 in the Tech Math 2 Red Book. All right, so we're going to start on page 9. So take a look at page 9. They're talking about vectors, vectors in space, but it's um, actually vectors on a coordinate plane. And so they, they've kept it pretty easy with these two examples on 26 and 27. G, H, you start from a vector, is a defined segment, but it's got direction to it. So G, H is, starts at 0, and it goes directly upward to 3. So we say that's got a positive 3. E, F, that starts at 0 on, on the y-axis, and it goes exactly straight down and stops at negative 3. So that's got a negative 3. So, so relatively straightforward. Um, we could do it with right and left also. They ask for ST. That starts at 0 on the X and then goes to positive 4. We'll call that plus 4. And MH, that starts at 0 on the X but goes to the left, so it's going negative 3. All right. So what about if it's on an angle? Well, if it's on an angle, then we either have to bust out our sweet Pythagorean theorem skills, or if you take a look at 29 on the next page, <clears throat> it looks like this, where we have OR. <clears throat> and OQ. So these aren't going directly vertical or horizontal, but <clears throat> they have strange markings on them. If you look at it, O, R, it's got direction. There's O and there's R, and we can, we can put a distance on it because it's got a mark, like one and two. And anytime you're going from center and you're looking at this as a, as a vector from the origin, it always has a positive connotation to it. So it's gonna be positive two, no matter what. Um, so look at OQ, kinda looks like a railroad track. Let's count the hack marks. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's got a distance of positive five. Um, I guess you could put the plus there. Um, in math, we're super lazy about that, where if there isn't anything there, we assume plus. If there is something there, then it would be a negative, you know, to, to signify it was negative. But um, these are never negative. When it starts at the origin and goes out in any direction, this way or this way also, it's gonna be a positive number. And so, um, if you just told me 5 and 2, I'd still give you full credit for that. If you omitted the plus, it's fine. All right. Um, then I think we're going to... Oh, nope, this is on one three. So look at number 39. They talk about sines, cosines, and tangents, like where is the sine positive? What quadrants are the sine positive? And they have a chart there for you. I personally like to look at these as like a sine wave. So you do a, a general sine wave here. This is zero degrees. This is, it peaks at 90 degrees and it peaks at one. If it hits zero again at 180 degrees, it goes to the lowest point at negative one, that happens at 270, and then we're back to zero at 360. So where is the sign positive? What quadrants? Well, from zero to 90, and from 90 to 180, that's quadrant one, quadrant two. Quadrant three is from 180 to 270, and then quadrant four is 270 to 360. So look at it, this is positive between zero and one. So where is the sign positive and where is the sign negative? Letter A says sign is negative 
in what quadrants? Well, it's negative in, that's where it's below the x-axis, so it's negative in quadrants three and four. All right, where is the cosine positive? So let's look at that. Let's look at a cosine curve. Cosine curve is just a sine curve. It's just out of sync. It starts at 90. It goes down and it goes back up. <clears throat> so here, this is 90 degrees. This is 180 degrees. This is 270. And 360. And if we look at the quadrants, 0 to 90, that's 1. From here to here is 1. From here to here is 2. <clears throat> from 180 to 270 is 3, and from 270 to 360 is 4. So the cosine is positive in what quadrants? Well, that would be 1 and 4. Because that's where it's above the x-axis. All right. And then uh, tangent. Tangent is a little harder to draw. Because you've got these <clears throat> asymptotes. Occurring every 180 degrees. So this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 180, this is 270, and this is 360. So when we look at tangent here, this is quadrant 1, so that's positive for tangent. Uh, quadrant 2 is from 90 to 180, that's going to be negative. Quadrant 3, that's 180 to 270, that's above the board, so that's uh, positive in the third quadrant, and then the fourth quadrant is negative. And so... Let's um, take a look at that. They want to know when is tangent negative. And so that is uh, negative here and negative there, two and four. Okay, there is a quicker way than graphing it every time and looking at it. There's a mnemonic device. Um, all Star Trek class. So what does that mean? All-Star Trick class isn't what we're trying to memorize. That's what we're using to memorize it. Um, all, all three of them, sine, cosine, and tangent, are positive. Sine is only positive in the second. Cosine and tangent are negative. Tangent is positive in the third. Sine and cosine are negative. Cosine is positive in the fourth. Sine and tangent are both negative. And so you could use this to figure these out. So when they say, where is the sign negative? Well, you know it's positive in the first and second, so it's negative in the third and fourth. Cosine positive, well, we know they're all positive in the first, so that was the one, and cosine is positive in the fourth. Tangent negative, well, if it's positive here and here, it's negative here and here, two and four. So that's just a different way to, to memorize it. All right, let's take a look at, oh, 1, 4 is super easy. I only need one, uh, one example for 1.4. That's, uh, you're just putting them in your calculator. And your calculator will figure out what quadrant it is, it, it is in and give you either a positive or negative readout, depending on whether you're asking sine, cosine, or tangent, and what quadrant it is in. So like 1.4, if you just enter these into your calculator as they stand, the sine of 140 degrees, and it says that's the same as the sine of 40 degrees in the second quadrant. Cosine of 140 is the same as the cosine of 40 in the second quadrant 
and the tangent of 140 is the same as the tangent of 40 in the second quadrant. So now look, what are they doing here? If, if you just put in sine 140, cosine 140, and tangent 140, this is what your calculator will kick out. This will be 0.6428. This will be negative 0 0.7660. This will be negative 0.8391. Now look, if you wanted to, like back in the olden days when we were using charts for this instead of calculators, we had to figure this part out. That's why all star tree class was such a big deal back then. So if I wanted to figure this out with a chart, I would look up the cosine of 40 degrees, the reference angle. This is the main angle, 140 but I would look up the reference angle, I'd find the cosine of 40, the chart would tell me 0 0.7660, and then I would have to go all star trick class and say, oh, it's cosine, so it's negative, and I would have to put the negative in there. Your calculator is putting the negative in there for you when you do the cosine of 140. Again, back in the day, if I wanted the tangent of 40 degrees, I would look up on the chart, tan 40, and the chart would read out 0.8391, and then I'd have to supply the negative with it. The sine of 40, I'd look that up on the chart, 0.6428, and I'd have to make sure is it positive or negative since it's signed in the second quadrant, it's positive. All right? And that's it. Next. Notes will be on 1.5.